Okay, so um, this is about the Filecoin lightweight chain snapshots. The project abstract is produced lightweight snapshots, which are required by new Filecoin nodes to join Filecoin networks in less than, than 24 hours. It would take weeks or months to sync a new node from Genesis on mainnet without snapshots. Uh, snapshot services is a critical part of the Filecoin ecosystem, so, that, so this NetOps project aims to uh, to provide guarantees by operating a HA fault tolerant service, implement monitoring, and commit to uh, service levels. The snapshot service should be capable of producing snapshots from devnets and testnets as well to support rapid node bootstrapping and test, and test environments, and this project is led by Travis Person. Um, Reba has been running a snapshot service since the start of mainnet, um, and the outputs of our first milestone will be in line with, with that service, uh, which we will produce a latest snapshot and time-stamped car files stored in S3, and the NetOps service will, will take over for, for Reba. Um, our goals are to guarantee snapshots are never older than four hours. The mean time to sync a Lotus node from snapshot should be less than two hours, uh, there should be redundancy in the snapshot service and storage and dis distribution of snapshots. Um, and we will be re reproducing snapshots as they're currently produced. Um, and we will make sure there is monitoring and, and alerts for the snapshots with, with runbooks. Um, a quick overview of how we're doing it. Uh, Travis wrote the Filecoin chain ar archiver service, which has a node locker service and a exporter. We're, we're leveraging the, the Kubernetes cron jobs and using open source Helm charts that we've uh, authored and just using Lotus. Um, a, a quick overview is just that we're able to run concurrent snapshots and, and, and guarantee that each Lotus node is only running one snapshot at a time to, to avoid complications. Our progress so far, uh, the 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 uh, work is done, and we are now actually producing uh, snapshots on calibration and mainnet. If you want to check out those uh, snapshots and test them, there are some links here. Um, and to uh, to get to our, our M1 soft launch goal, uh, we need to complete the the validation, alerting, and and runbooks. Um, the M1 soft launch is scheduled for July 20th. Um, at that point, uh, it, it will be it, it will be for for experimental use and testing. And Reba service would continue to run. Uh, M2 would be our our production launch, uh, which would be the end of Q3 2022. And uh, we'll work on on increasing our confidence in those snapshots uh, and their their uh, correctness by having continuous validation running and improving alerting documentation and runbooks. Um, and at that point, we hope that, that Rebus service could uh, begin to uh, sunset and we'll need to coordinate with the Filecoin dev team and then and as well make sure we do a lot of comms and coordination with the broader network is the snapshot links are probably baked into a number of, of, uh, of tooling out there. Uh, um, but I'm, I'm leaving the, the best for, for the end here. You're uh, probably wondering, well, you're storing snapshots in, in S3. Uh, we should be storing it in our TL Web3 stack, which we are definitely thinking about. And I wanted to highlight some of the uh, challenges around this. Um, so the snapshots are a little under 80 gigabytes in size and are produced every two hours. So that's one terabyte of data a day. And we also expect the size to, to increase. So we're talking about a fairly large scale storage system to, to uh, support this. Um, and then snapshots become less useful uh, with time. So um, one, one feature we would like to see here is a, a, a retention period to keep our uh, storage scale down and also to keep the cost down. And I think the, the most important part is we have some fairly, um, some tight goals and, and service levels about being able to uh, to ensure that uh, Lotus nodes are able to bootstrap as quickly as possible. So we need to make sure that any any solution that we actually um, land on is able to support the, the, download, the download throughput that will uh, satisfy our goals. So this actually makes the, uh, the snapshot service a fairly good uh, kind of a case study. Um, and we are going to be checking if uh, Kubo and Cluster would would be able to to satisfy those goals with benchmarking. 
And there's a whole list of cool uh, tools that have come out and services that we also plan to uh, test out. And we would love your uh, your feedback and and um, input on this problem. And um, you can join us on Phil Infra and Phil Slack, and we would love to hear some some of your um, some of your your proposals of how we could uh, how we could serve snapshots with our PL Web3 stack. Uh, that's the end. Thank you.